breaking the number one rule for magicians. This is the best secrets of magic as voted on by okay, you. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to look at Blue dress. Yep, I want you to look at three different dresses. Instantly reveals a silver dress. This is an amazing piece of seamstress work. These dresses fold on. Uh, it's absolutely incredible the way that they fold out. You can get three different dresses. You're going to learn some cool secrets of magic here, like this one. This is a secret magic prop stool, and that pole, it looks like it's going to do something that it should not do, but it's actually on a spring. Now, on this one, my favorite part of this video is the blonde's reaction. So my blonde friend, her name is MC. Uh, watch her reaction to this. This thing's about to go a little bit crazy. Oh. Yeah, the turn. Oh. 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 Are you okay? When I rotate, that releases it, and... Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh. Do we need to take you to the hospital? Yeah, I didn't need to go to the hospital on that one, but that's a crazy trick. Now, this is an old uh, prank box, but usually they're only really tiny. They're really small, and you can have like a little mouse or a little spider. They're usually like only two inches big. So I had a carpenter here in Las Vegas build us a giant one, and uh, we didn't know what to put on the thing to make it pop out. Turns out the scariest thing is actually just a wig. So my wife is in the background, and all I need her to do is pull this thing open, and it creates a really cool effect. Watch the way this guy pops out. Yeah, yeah, no, just, you'll see. Go, go for it a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Ah! Oh, yes, my God. Fine. Just oh, fine. My when God. a hair like that shoots out of nowhere, that looks crazy. Now, this is an old magic prop. It looks like a fake thumb, but check these thumbs out. They light up just with pressure. It's actually on a button. And so the idea was to make up a fake invention. Well, there's this new thing now where if they go out, you don't have to buy a replacement bulb. You can take the light from one bulb and move it to the other. Where did Some of the best things is you don't actually pretend like you're showing them a magic trick. You say this is actually a real piece of technology. Uh, so I've got the fake thumb on me. And uh, my buddy Blake, he's got a fake thumb. This one right here. Oh. Look at this, ready? Okay. One, what is happening? two, watch this, ready? And catch. Stop! The cool thing is, is technology is so amazing these days. Uh, it's actually kind of believable that you could like pull lights off of something like this. Uh, but you can actually buy these fake thumbs that have lights in them. It's a, it's a cool yeah, this prop. This is a friendly dragon. He can look this way over here. This yeah, optical like this illusion this is yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, That's not out. moving no, at all. At look, look at that. Thing. Look, it's just a. It's an optical thing because uh, you're looking into a box, so it looks like it moves around. Now, this is one of my favorites. Okay, uh, so that's Jocelyn, and she's getting into this. Uh, what looks like a, I guess it kind of looks like a really small box from this perspective, but actually. It's supposed to look like a, a table or a platform, but this door can close completely. And that little weird leopard print or zebra print on the side, that kind of camouflages the trap. Now, I needed a reason. Usually when magicians would do this, they just do it as an appearing girl. I told my friend Adley that this was a toy box, and I purposely have her lift up the blanket over her eyes to put it over. I knock on the table which tells Jocelyn, I got to get out of the thing. But she can't see. From her perspective, she has no idea that it's in there. And then she doesn't know what I'm doing. She looks pretty confused until... What? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, also, I had her wear, like, a weird mask in there just to make it uh, especially weird. So now this is a cool secret. Uh, magicians and thieves are oftentimes related. You know, pickpockets use a lot of magic props in order to do their pickpocket work. Well, this is more of a secret of burglars or thieves and how they might get into a locked hotel room if, the dead, if that uh, swinging lock is closed. So... All you need is a rubber band and some duct tape, and you can get into a hotel room like this. This is actually pretty brilliant. Uh, so now watch what she's doing here. She's going to put that duct tape in the loop. Now, it helps if you have tiny hands like she does because she's got to push that all the way in as far as possible. She wants that tension to be on the rubber band. That, that second piece of duct tape is to add even more tension to the rubber band. Now watch what that does. Whoa! That rubber band will actually pull it there, 
and then you can tape it like this uh, so that nobody gets in. Uh, that's actually a good way to keep it because, as you can see now, it stays like that forever. Now, here's a cool old Hollywood prop. Uh, now, this one is actually pretty neat. All you need is a knife that has a little half circle cut out in it. And then if you push that up against your skin, it will look like the knife is going through your skin, right? We've all seen the old arrow through the head prop. Uh, that kind of is the same concept. But what's cool about this knife is it has this bulb in the back that you can fill with, uh, you know, red stuff to look like the knife is really doing some damage here. Uh, so my wife is in the background. And this knife also can slide back and forth so it can hide that uh -oh. thing. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh -oh. Okay, you have oh. to pull it out. Oh, no. Pull Absolutely it. ridiculous. I'm getting but pretty fun uh the way it looks and i blow it off just by pulling it out watch three oh gosh oh yeah mm. yeah that video made a lot of people angry but uh not as much as this one uh putting a baby in a box is not a great way to start a video if you want people to like whatever you're doing but it's just a trick fake baby fake flat baby and let me show you how this box works it looks empty but we just put a baby in it well that's because there's a mirror in the box that reflects the bottom of it so it looks empty. Now, here's another one. You can actually try this one at home just with some tape. And I took a pencil, snapped it in half, and I tape it sticking out of one, each half. Uh, actually, uh, so the important thing here, you don't want whoever you're showing this to to see this thing. Now, luckily, uh, when there's cameras rolling, it's easy to get people to not pay attention. Uh, but I made little paper tubes. I got little red solo cups. So I know where the pencil is, okay? I'm making it seem like they're going to be mixed up or whatever. But remember, I have half of a pencil sticking out of my palm with ketchup making it look gory and terrible. Watch. Stab my hand down on it as hard as I can. Uh, that one. One. pretend like I'm gonna stab it. I'm gonna make it her fault. Wait, wait, wait. Stop changing your mind. Remember, she can't see what's behind her. Oh! Now, here's the thing. Instantly, they will know exactly how that thing is done. But this one, this one's a slower burn. Uh, so I'm pretending like I'm stapling stuff. Oh! Babe! I'm in my workshop in the garage. Check this out. That uh, that's a that's not a staple that's sticking out. It's a nail with a spot where I can slide my finger. But this is how the brain sometimes works. You you you're so concentrated on what you have to do, you completely miss me pulling my hand out. Use both hands because it's very thick. Okay, no no no, down a little bit further, down there, down there. No no no, you're gonna need to go down down right. No. Watch when she gets it. I'm trying. No no no, she's gonna get it right there. I'm trying. Right there. Tight. It's right slowly there. clicking. Right, right there. <laughs> it's so silly. Okay, let me show you uh, a, an incredible secret. Uh, these wine bottles look like regular wine bottles, but look, that's three of them just went on top of each other because they're completely hollow and decorated like this. Now, this is a classic magic trick, uh, but... Now you guys are in on the secret. There's a glass and a bottle. You snap your fingers, and they switch places. Now, how are they switching places? Inside that tube, I'm actually, with my middle fingers, I'm grabbing the bottle, and I'm switching them really quick. It actually makes a pretty cool effect. Watch again. One more time. One more time. Oh, oh, sorry. Wait, can I? No, that's, I, had, I had two extra bottles at the time. Okay. The second time, there's two glasses, but you can switch them that quickly. Happens really fast. It's, an extra it's so silly. Uh, the thing is, you can't actually do that trick that close up. But here's one that you can. Uh, now, this is just some eye candy, what's happening here. Uh, this is kind of like a little short sketch here um, with, uh, that's my friend Allison. And uh, she's on her phone. She's not as important to this. What's more important is the incredible visual that a mirror can give you. If you cut a hole in one of your hoodies so that you can stick your head out your chest, pop a balloon right there in the hood. Actually, don't pop it yet. The mirror is reflecting my leg, and it actually looks 
like uh, like you, you it looks like my head is gone the what you guys know is actually my head now watch this I, with my other hand I'm gonna pop the balloon <laughs> and it looks like my head goes away magicians will use mirrors like that in a box this magician shows the secret to the arm trick here's another great one okay it looks like two blades can go right through my arm watch how good this looks and the secret is actually pretty easy. You just can't do this trick with anyone. Yeah, it's just like behind oh, you. Okay. Yeah, it's one of those sorts of things. Now, here's one you can make. Uh, you don't have to make it in a Walmart. By the way, I did buy these Pringles. Okay, I'm not just destroying Pringles here in a Walmart. But this is one you can make. All you have to do is slice down a Pringles can like this. Okay. Perfect. And it doesn't even have to be that nice because once you get there, you can just kind of rip it off of the can. Watch this. Separate it like this. And it rips out. The glue will actually uh, be weak once you've cut it there. And now you have a different colored Pringles can. See? If you line it up perfectly, your thumbs are going to do all of the work, and you're going to slide that red one back. You're going to slide it back. At the same time, you're going to bring it up to your mouth to blow. Now, that didn't look good, but watch how good it looks right here. Yeah. Whoa. It looks like it changes colors, and if you hold it from the back, you can spin it, and people don't know that it's there. Now, this is a crazy dining room table that has a secret hiding place for me. Now, these guys really messed with me here, and I got totally messed with on this. I, it's not cool, actually, what they did, but... Yeah, it makes for really funny. The bit was supposed to be, I'm in there and I'm going to throw the pie into my wife's face. Uh, no, it did not go that way because my buddy Matt, uh, that's another uh, comedian uh, in Las Vegas, Matt Black, he totally exposed me. He told my wife that I'm in the table. They switched the pie and... Oh my God, there's pie everywhere. What the heck? What is that? I'm celebrating on the inside. I think I nailed this thing. Oh my God. Nope. I got you. Yeah, it wasn't good. Now, here's another one. Uh, this is at a pet store. I brought a carrot and a knife into a pet store. Something uh, It's totally allowed. You can do that. You can actually bite into a carrot to make it look like a goldfish. Okay, now it doesn't need to look like a real goldfish because this thing's going to be moving pretty fast. So now watch what you can do. So I've got it right there hidden behind my back. Don't let anyone see it. You can do this at your friend's house, too. Go up to their little fish tank. It's too small, right? Yeah. No, we need I don't need to grab any actual goldfish. I'm just dipping my hand into the water with the carrot, and it's going to look like I pop it in my mouth. Watch what it looks like. And they're so friendly and cute. And, like, everyone says that fish don't make great pets, but they are. Yeah, fish make great pets. They also make good eating. So he opens it up for me. No, 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 you can't do that, sir. Oh, no, I can't do that. You, I you can't. can't. I can't. I'm giving it a little bit of a wiggle right there and then just pop it in the mouth. Oh, my God. I, I'm going to need to call security. This is not it. <laughs> okay, don't. So, yeah, he, luckily he didn't call security. I just pulled out the carrot. Now, this is a really cool thing because the mirror right there is reflecting my left leg and I can put a broom under there. Now, the thing is, is this is just kind of for video because you can kind of see the mirror reflection is a little weird, but <laughs> it still tricks your eye and it looks like I'm floating. Uh, now, even better than that is this 100 year old uh, prop. This is made uh, by a prank company from this chair is from 1901. And it takes a bullet uh, for real. Like, uh, now, I've got a blank in there. It used to take an even larger shell, uh, like a shotgun-sized shell blank. Uh, so my poor wife is about to uh, try this thing out. I love collecting antiques, so this was an antique that I got. Uh, it's made by a company called the DeMoulin Brothers. They made pranks 100 years ago. Now they make marching band uniforms. But watch what happens when I pull the trigger. I'm pretending like I'm telling her it's going to do something else. But uh, really, it's about to fling her back. Open your eyes. One, two, three. Oh! Hang on. It's so loud when it happens. 
uh, the back of that chair is like a slide so that it just slowly rolls back, which is pretty cool. Now, I completely demolished this couch uh, because so I had to take out all the inners of the couch so that I could kneel down like this. Got some fake mannequin legs. That's the hardest part to find, actually. Mannequins usually come in one piece. But look at how good this looks. Okay, now, okay. Allie was just getting out of the bathroom. Uh, but right here, it actually looks like I'm in one piece. You don't know that I'm halfway in the couch. Everyone should rip apart their old couch and try this out because it's just so fun how it looks. We call it the Beetlejuice couch. I mean, that's a scary looking thing. I don't care that the legs are stiff and weird, but uh, yeah, it's just one of those things. This is a magic trick you can make at home. That doesn't fit unless you push it through, and then it does go all the way through. How does and, the spoon go through the top of a bottle? The bottle is really small. It's way bigger than it actually go through and go through. Oh, here's the secret. No, stop, no. don't. No. All you need is to cut the back in it, and you can see that the back of the bottle was cut so that it could actually fit those things. Uh, now, this is another cool magic prop. I had this since I was a kid. Uh, it looks like the sword is going to go right through this ring. Now there's no sword. How does that happen? So take a look at this sword. I'm going to pull it out and show you this sword is not normal. It can bend. There's a secret channel in this necklace. Uh, that's right. It goes around your neck. And it can do this uh, crazy thing. So right there. It's going to go into a channel that's going to direct that sword right into her neck so that she can feel it and get scared. Watch this. Right there. Ah, oh. ah, what? ah, what? ah, what? I feel that. I feel that. Are you doing this yeah. on your side? Now I've switched the sword into the channel that's going to wrap that sword around her neck. Take a look how this looks. Look at that. Look at that. It's actually coming. You can't see it. It's a cool prop. Now, this is another one you can make at home. In fact, I suggest you do. All you have to do, uh, I'll tell you what's up. You just put a can, uh, candle inside of a bottle. Now, I've got some water here. I'm going to put food coloring in it. The food coloring is important just so that you can see the water. Uh, if there's no food coloring, you can't see the water. I'll shake it up. Uh, but how do you get a candle to stay lit on fire underneath water? I'm lying there. I said it's a special kind of liquid. It is not. Uh, and I've got it in fast motion just so we can do it really quickly. I want you to see this. That water is going to reach the flame, and it is not going to put the flame out. See if you can figure out how it happens. I'm going to show the secret immediately after the water goes over the flame. It actually makes the flame look pretty cool while it's underwater. Boom. Is it underwater? Nope. It is behind the bottle. That's the whole bit. One of those things that... Oh, look at that. This right is now. a cool stunt. All you need is a you soup can, and you Mind can smash your finger. Oh, nope, no. Nope. <laughs> yeah! It just happens. The integrity of a soup can can do that, okay? Now, uh, everyone has a fake foot. Just get one of your fake feet. The cool thing here is not only did we have a foot, fake foot for this, we cut a hole in the back of her knee, okay, the little crotch of her leg, so her leg could be coming out of that. And this couch that my wife has actually split in two, so it could keep her leg in between the couch and hide it. Now, I'm pretending that I know acupuncture, I think, in this one. And uh, this is Kate. Uh, she's very sweet, but she is dumb enough to believe this. Uh, it's, it's, you know, bless her. You breathe in, and you just breathe out. Oh, wow. This fake foot oh. is actually very realistic in person because it's used for tattoo artists to practice. Uh, we blow off the whole stunt just by pulling off the foot in three, two. That is amazing. There's no, look, you can see there's no hole. There's no, it's, it kind of breaks the brain to pull off somebody's foot like that. Now, this is cool. This is a build. All you need is a cart and a cardboard box and uh, and a friend like Jocelyn who's willing to uh, get in it. A little bit of red there, which is going to flatten off the jeans. Okay, so see if you can see how this thing's happening. Her real legs are there. She's laying down in the box, and uh, we've made the jeans look flat on the top. So it just looks like legs. 
Yeah, it's great. Okay. So now it's supposed to look like we're putting together a mannequin, and because the bubble wrap is uh, covering her in the box, y you wouldn't see her if you open up the box. It's very cartoonish uh, with the thing walking away from me like this, but watch how cool this looks when she pops out. <laughs> It's weird and trippy to see it from that angle because she's coming out of the front crotch of the jeans. Now, this is another one you can do, okay? You don't need to use all of the crazy fire that's about to happen. All you need is chapstick. So I'm writing on my arm in chapstick. This is an old magic stunt that you can do. Now, I'm clouding much of the magic trick with other crazy stuff because I don't want her just to think uh, that there was any sticky stuff on my arm. So I wrap it in foil. Foil is not needed for this. The magic trick is actually totally ready to go right now, but I want to add fire. Oh yeah, careful, don't. So I make it seem like it's going to happen because she wrote her name. That's a lie. It's not going to happen because she wrote her name. Uh, cool thing with a blowtorch. Do not try that at home. No, look at that. Get a handful of coffee grounds. So now anything will work. People have done it with ashes. Uh, from a fireplace or coffee grounds, any kind oh of powder goodness. that's dark. That. And the chapstick will stick to the powder and reveal whatever you wrote on there earlier. Now, this is pretty cool. Uh, if you ever find yourself hanging out in a hospital room and you've got some fake legs, give this a try. I know that's a rare circumstance, but see this? Uh, that's Allie. She's a dancer, so she can do the splits on the end of the bed. Now, it looks good, like she's laying on her stomach, but her legs are wrapped right now around the front of the bed. So it creates this cool illusion. We wanted just to film uh, this cool illusion. Uh, it's like a song in half, but you don't need a secret table to hide the lower half of somebody. All you need is the front of the bed. It's actually invented by uh, another magician friend of mine, Kyle Knight. Uh, and his wife Misty. Right here, hang on, hang on. Yeah, show her, show her exactly. Where's We're the? We're just gonna lift it up right here. Check this out. <laughs> it's just a really cool illusion, but it actually looks great when uh, when the legs are split around. Okay, we've got the mirror again. This is a great mirror. If you cut a stool in half. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. If I get this and you put it against the mirror, it looks like a whole stool, right? Now, this only really works in the camera. You can see my legs reflecting, but if I sit on both sides of it, it's going to reflect one of my legs as if it's both legs. And I'm just sitting with my bottom crack. It's not comfortable, resting right on that mirror. And if he pulls the stool away in one, it looks like I'm floating on air. It's one of those cool things uh, with the mirror. Now, that is some fun crazy silly secrets of magic which one fooled you and which one can you actually believe you're like wait i don't believe that that's a secret of magic i can't believe that that would fool anybody tell me in the comments and uh these were the number one most viewed youtube shorts of mine exposing magic secrets and uh what should i do next uh we'll uh, review some of these crazy clips what do you want to hear the behind the scenes on in my videos coming up next uh probably some paintings or maybe some of the crazy adventures i've gone on with my kids and my beautiful wife anna see you next time